let's take a look at how to work with hosts and templates. Let's look at our tree view. You'll see our telemark folder. We have host sessions. A host is used to obtain the information of a remote device. You have the host name or IP address filled here. The strength of the host is that it will allow you to work with a template or a sub-connection to launch. So for the example here, we'll show you how to work with templates. Let's go and select a template here. You have local templates that are private to you and share templates that you can share with your whole team. I'll select both of them and click on OK. You'll see that it now indicates here that I have two templates that has been selected for this host. I will close that window and I will do the same thing with my other host session. Once I've applied my two templates to my other host, I'll open my first host session called LEMP. You'll immediately be prompted with a template list window. I'll select the SSH template and as you can see, it is first connecting to the server using the credentials that was defined in my template. If we go and take a look at the template we just used in file, template, template, SSH, you can see that I have used a variable host. We're using the host name of our host entry as well as the username and the password. If I click on reveal password, we can see that we are using password variable. We're using the host values. If we would have our own template with our own credential, we could simply save them in our local template stored on your own hard drive. And there you go, that is the magic of the template and of the host. There's no more need to type the entry in the subtype so the tree view will actually be a little lighter. You won't see the template that you are using, but once you get the hang of it, it gets really easy to manage. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website or our forum.